Hey sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. There are several players that I would like to eventually have a complete playing days run of. That currently I have very few cards of that particular player. And one of them is Frank Robinson. Up to this point, I only had four of his cards, but I recently picked up a fifth is 1968 tops card and it happens to be the seventh card i've picked up toward my 100 cards for ten thousand dollar list so i'm going to turn the camera around and show it off all right here it is 1968 tops frank robinson i picked this up in a psa 5 it was another auction uh, that i saw on ebay uh, the nice thing about the 1968 top set is that with the burlap bag border, uh, it hides some corner imperfections. And so you can get a really nice mid-grade copy that may have some issues on the corners, but you really don't see it unless you look really closely. Uh, this is a well-centered copy. Uh, no print marks or you know those fish eyes or anything like that. Uh, in that uh, green circle there overall nice registration the back is centered really nice as well very happy uh, with this pickup here uh, PSA 5 copy um, again I will uh, in a minute here I will talk about all the numbers uh, behind it as I always uh, do as I show off or pick up an additional card on this 100 card list but what I thought I would do since I have so few uh, other Frank Robinson cards I will show them off here quickly so I do have his rookie card of course when you're Dealing with a, a player run, usually the rookie card is the most expensive. So I do have uh, this. This was uh, one of the first and earliest graded cards in my collection. Then I have his 1960 Ops in one of my favorite grades, a PSA 4. I have his 1969. And finally, his 1974. So as, as you can see, I have lots of gaps to fill in for my Frank Robinson run. But let's get back to the 1968 tops that I just recently picked up. And let's get into some of the numbers. So on my 100 cards for $10,000 list, I had estimated that for a PSA 7, it would cost me around $85. As you can see, I picked up a PSA 5. As, I, as I've explained in previous videos, um, when I put the list together, and I, I had to average about $100 a card, it's 100 cards for $10,000. And so for the 68 tops, Frank Robinson, uh, I picked a PSA 7 copy that I thought would cost me around $85. And of course, the goal is to save money on every single purchase. And this auction came up for a PSA 5. I loved the centering of it, the registration. Uh, it was perfect. And for a PSA 5, the range in prices through a VCP on the very low end, um, there sell for as low as 17 bucks on average $35 and on the high end for a PSA 5 we're talking maybe $55 well all in including the auction win shipping and tax I'm in for $35 so right at the sort of average price but again uh, when we're talking about VCP average prices that does not include shipping and tax if you say win the auction off of ebay or even if you win it from a heritage auction or whatever uh, it may include the buyer's premium but i don't know if it would include any shipping costs and so on so when i talk about these numbers keep in mind that these vcp average prices that i'm talking about um, are just for the 
buy it now or winning bid on a card and does not include shipping and tax. So with me being all in for $35, I've saved $50 on just this one card that I, when I put my list together for a PSA 7 would have cost me $85. And in total now, now this being the seventh card that I've picked up off that list, I thought I would have to spend based on the grades that I had put the card on my list, the seven cards I thought I would have to spend $600. So far for these seven cards, I've only spent $350. So already after seven cards, I'm $250 to the good. So again, there are bargains out there. Uh, you can drop down a grade, in this case, two grades, still get a nice looking copy of a card and can save you some money. So I've been doing very well with some of these auctions recently. And so we'd love to know in the comments what you think about this 1968 Tops Frank Robinson card, the seventh card off of my 100 cards for $10,000 list. And with that, that's all I have for you. Until next time, thanks for watching.